This video is going over double number line diagrams. So our learning target today is I can create a double number line that represents a set of equivalent ratios. So that's what we're going to practice today. Um, but make sure your learning target is filled in. I can create a double number line. That's where you put it on your warm-up, double number line. And hopefully you did the warm-up as a class. If not, try it on your own. And then watch the video for the activities. So I can create a double number line. Here we go. So here's a double number line. This isn't on your paper, so just pay attention for a second. A double number line diagram uses a pair of parallel number lines to represent equivalent ratios. So equivalent ratios we've learned about. Um, think of equivalent fractions, meaning they kind of go at the same rate. The locations of the tick marks match on both number lines. The tick marks labeled zero line up, but the other numbers are usually different. So for example, if I had a ratio of three teaspoons of red paint and um, five teaspoons of yellow paint, the ratio is three to five. Three to five is equivalent to six to 10, which is equivalent to nine to 15, which is equivalent to 12 to 20. So these are all equivalent ratios. This would be like um, one recipe or one batch of that paint. This would be two batches, this would be three batches, and this would be four batches, for example. So it's like you take the original and you multiply each by two to get to the next. Multiply three by two to get to six, five by two to get to ten. So that's the idea with double number lines. Um, just to review, how many cups of red and yellow paint are there for three batches? Remember, I just went over this. This is one, two, three batches. So I would say nine red and 15 yellow. Four batches would be 12 to 20. So 12 red and 20 yellow. Again, this was on your paper. Moving to activity one. Here is a diagram showing Elena's recipe for light blue paint. We have two cups, looks like we have two cups of white paint, um, and then one, two, three, four, five, six tablespoons of blue paint. However, we could make a smaller batch, and so like I could say this is one batch, and then together it would create two batches. Complete the double number line to show the amount of white paint and blue paint in different size batches of light blue paint. Okay, so there's a couple ways you could do this. Let's just do what is on this diagram. So let's start with two for the white and then six for the blue, since the diagram shows that. Technically, you could start with one for the white and three for the blue, but we're going to start with two. So um, then I'm going to continue counting by twos for each tick mark. So for two batches would be four cups of white paint. For three batches would be six, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, if I have six here for the blue, two batches would be 12 because six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. Six times four is 24. Six times five is 30. Six times six is 36. How many cups? So on the next page, I think, is where it shows these questions. So keep this in mind. We're going to use our double number line to answer some questions. How many cups of white paint should Elena mix with 12 tablespoons of blue paint? So if I, um, one thing about a double number line is you have to label it. So if these kind of mean nothing unless we write down what the colors are. So this is white paint, this number line, and this one is blue paint. So it's saying if you use 12 blue, and 12 blue is right here, then I have to look at this ratio that we know, and this one is 4. So I would say... How many cups of white paint would she use? Um, she would use four cups of white. Because that's the equivalent ratio. The next question says, how many batches would this make? So this is one batch, and this is two batches. So I'd say two batches, because it's like I took Elena's recipe, and I multiplied each of them by two. Two times two, and it got four, and then six times two, and got 12. Next question, number three. How many tablespoons of blue paint should Elena mix with six cups of white paint? So I'm going to find six cups of white paint on my number line. And then I can create this ratio. Um, looks like the amount of blue paint is 18. 
So it's eight tablespoons of blue paint. How many batches is that? So I know two to six is one batch, four to 12 is two batches. So this would be three batches. So it's like each ingredient is multiplied by three. Because I would say each um, color is multiplied by three. So make sure you get that. Keep in mind these double number lines just are supposed to help us find equivalent ratios, but there's a lot of different ways to do it. This is just one way. Next activity, the International Space Station. This one's exciting. So here's a picture of the International Space, Sta space Station, um, and we'll get on to some questions about it. So the instructions say, the International Space Station orbits around the Earth at a constant speed. Complete the table and double number line. So it looks like the International Space Station goes 80 kilometers um, in 10 seconds. So on our table, it goes from 10 seconds to 1 second. So we have to think, okay, what do I multiply or divide 10 by to get to 1? Since it's getting smaller, I know I'm dividing. So I divide 10 by what to get to 1? And I know anything divided by itself is 1. So 10 divided by 10 is 1. So that means I have to divide the other side of my ratio by 10. We have to divide them by the same number so it's equivalent. So 8, 80 divided by 10 would be 8. Now that I have this, this is called a unit rate. Unit rate. And you can write this on your paper. Unit rate is when one part of the ratio is 1. So this is like saying it goes eight kilometers in one second or per second. So now I can use that to answer the rest of these questions. So I know to get from one to five, if I'm multiplying or dividing, I have to multiply, it's getting bigger, so I'm multiplying it by five. One times five would give me five seconds. So I'm gonna multiply the eight by five to get the distance. Eight times five is 40. Then I'm going to keep using this unit rate to answer these questions. So I'm going to multiply 1 times what to get to 7. I know I multiply 1 times 7 to get to 7. So then I'm going to multiply 8 by 7. 8 times 7 is 56. So I can complete those tables. Once I find that unit rate, it really helps me get there. Um, so any equivalent ratio can help you get there, but some ratios or equivalent ratios are a little bit easier to use to get to the next one. Now we're going to use the double number line. So remember, this is a double number line way. Again, both ways are ways to represent equivalent ratios. So on a double number line, we go in order. So we know if this was 5 and this is seconds, we know at 5 seconds right here, it went 40 so I'm going to put the 40 here. And then I know after 0, if I'm just counting up by 1, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't have to fill in every one, but just the boxes. So at 1 second, we found that already. This is the one. This is the speed circled. So at 1 second, it goes 8 kilometers. And then we'll keep counting up for the seconds. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It doesn't always count up by 1s, but this in this case, it works. Um, so I know at 7 seconds right here, the distance was 56. And then at 10 seconds, which was the first ratio, it was at 80 kilometers. So what I really could do is, since I know the speed is at um, 1 second or 8 kilometers per second, I can count up by 8s for the kilometers. So at 2 seconds, it would be 16. Um, 8 times 3 is 24. So 24, 24, or 8 times 4 is 32, or just count up by 8s, in other words. And so then we can fill out the other parts of the double number line. So double number lines help us get equivalent ratios. Tables also, one thing about tables is it, it skips having to do the ratios in between, which is kind of nice. You can just find a unit rate and then use it to find any other equivalent ratio. Um, but there's pros and cons to both. So it says, what is the speed of the International Space Station? So anytime it says speed, we're looking for a unit rate. Unit rate. So we're looking for kilometers per second. So per second, we look for the one, and I see in one second it goes 
eight kilometers. So its speed is eight kilometers per second. That is its speed. It's right on our table. Question three, how far does the station travel in seven seconds? Oh, well, we know seven is right there. And at seven, it goes 56 kilometers. So we have to be able to read the table to answer these questions or come up with equivalent ratios. Then question four says, which representation do you like better? The double number line or the table? So you have to answer this. So do you like the table? This is the table. Or do you like the double number line better to get equivalent ratios? Both of them work. Um, I personally like the table better, but I know a lot of kids like the, the double number line better. So say which one and why. Just make sure you say why. And then once you answer that, you move on to the cool down and have Mrs. Young check that your answers are correct. Um, one thing on the cool down, make sure you label your double number line. So if you label one thing, um, flour, make sure you put flour for one and then you could label the other vanilla so we know what the numbers are representing.